Welcome to Summary Secrets, your daily personal growth companion. In today's video, we'll be uncovering the top lessons from The Art of Possibility by Rosamond Stone Zander and Benjamin Zander. If you're ready to unlock the secrets within this book and gain valuable insights, let's dive right in. Lesson 1. Shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance. In order to fully embrace the concept of abundance, it is important to shift your mindset from scarcity. Instead of focusing on what you lack or what is limited, you should start seeing the world as a place of endless possibilities and resources. When you have a scarcity mindset, you tend to believe that there is not enough to go around. This can lead to feelings of fear, competition, and a constant need to hoard or protect what you have. However, when you shift your mindset to abundance, you realize that there is more than enough for everyone and that there are countless opportunities available to you. For example, imagine you are in a meeting at work and your colleague receives praise for a job well done. If you have a scarcity mindset, you might feel threatened or jealous, thinking that their success means there is less recognition or opportunity for you. However, if you shift to an abundance mindset, you would genuinely celebrate their success, knowing that there is plenty of recognition and opportunity for everyone. Another example is in relationships. If you have a scarcity mindset, you might believe that finding love or maintaining a healthy relationship is difficult because there are limited options or that you have to settle for less. However, with an abundance mindset, you would believe that there are plenty of potential partners out there and that you deserve a fulfilling and loving relationship. By shifting your mindset from scarcity to abundance, you open yourself up to new possibilities and experiences. You become more optimistic, grateful, and willing to take risks. Instead of dwelling on what you lack, you focus on what you have and what you can create. This mindset shift allows you to approach challenges with a sense of curiosity and creativity, knowing that there are always solutions and opportunities available to you. In summary, shifting your mindset from scarcity to abundance is about changing your perspective and embracing the belief that there is more than enough for everyone. It allows you to let go of fear and competition, and instead, approach life with optimism, gratitude, and a willingness to explore new possibilities. Lesson 2. Embrace the concept of giving an A to others. In lesson number 2, the concept of giving an A to others is introduced. This concept encourages you to approach your interactions with others by assuming the best in them and treating them as if they have already achieved their highest potential. Instead of focusing on their flaws or mistakes, you choose to see their strengths and possibilities. When you give an A to others, you create an environment of trust and support. You believe in their capabilities and encourage them to believe in themselves. This mindset allows you to see the potential in others and helps them to see it in themselves as well. For example, imagine you are a teacher and you have a student who is struggling in class. Instead of labeling them as a bad student or assuming they are not capable of improvement, you choose to give them an A. You approach them with the belief that they have the potential to succeed and you provide them with the necessary support and guidance to help them reach that potential. By doing so, you create an atmosphere where the student feels valued and motivated to work towards their best. Similarly, in a work setting, you can apply the concept of giving an A to your colleagues or employees. Instead of focusing on their weaknesses or past mistakes, you choose to see their strengths and potential contributions. By doing so, you create a positive and empowering work environment where individuals feel valued and motivated to excel. By embracing the concept of giving an A to others, you not only uplift and inspire those around you, but you also open yourself up to new possibilities and growth. This mindset allows you to see the best in others and encourages them to strive for their highest potential. It fosters collaboration, trust, and a sense of shared purpose leading to greater success and fulfillment for everyone involved. Lesson 3. Practice the art of possibility by exploring new perspectives. In the book The Art of Possibility, the authors emphasize the importance of practicing the art of possibility by exploring new perspectives. This lesson encourages you to challenge your preconceived notions and open your mind to different ways of thinking. By exploring new perspectives, you can expand your understanding of a situation and uncover hidden opportunities. It allows you to break free from the limitations of your own beliefs and see things from a fresh angle. 
This can lead to innovative solutions and creative ideas that you may have never considered before. For example, imagine you are working on a project at work and facing a roadblock. Instead of getting frustrated and stuck in your own perspective, you can practice the art of possibility by seeking out different viewpoints. You could ask your colleagues for their input, consult experts in the field, or even look at similar projects in different industries. By doing so, you may discover alternative approaches or solutions that you hadn't previously considered. Exploring new perspectives also helps you develop empathy and understanding towards others. It allows you to see the world through their eyes and gain a deeper appreciation for their experiences and challenges. This can improve your relationships, both personally and professionally, as you become more open-minded and accepting of different viewpoints. Furthermore, practicing the art of possibility by exploring new perspectives can foster a sense of curiosity and lifelong learning. It encourages you to continuously seek out new knowledge and experiences, rather than becoming complacent or stagnant. By embracing different perspectives, you can constantly evolve and grow as an individual. In summary, the lesson of practicing the art of possibility by exploring new perspectives is about breaking free from your own limitations and embracing different ways of thinking. By doing so, you can uncover new opportunities, develop empathy towards others, and foster a sense of curiosity and growth. So, challenge yourself to see the world through different lenses and embrace the power of possibility. Lesson 4. Cultivate a sense of possibility by asking what-if questions. In order to cultivate a sense of possibility in your life, it is important to ask yourself what-if questions. These questions allow you to explore different scenarios and open your mind to new possibilities. By asking what-if, you are challenging the status quo and expanding your perspective. For example, let's say you are faced with a difficult decision at work. Instead of simply accepting the options presented to you, you can ask yourself what if questions to consider alternative solutions. What if I approached this problem from a different angle? What if I took a risk and tried something new? By asking these questions, you are opening yourself up to new possibilities and potential solutions that you may not have considered before. Asking what-if questions can also help you overcome obstacles and limitations. For instance, if you have a fear of public speaking, you can ask yourself what-if questions to challenge that fear. What if I practiced more and gained more confidence? What if I focused on the message I want to deliver instead of worrying about what others think? By asking these questions, you are shifting your mindset and creating a sense of possibility for yourself. Furthermore, Asking what-if questions can spark creativity and innovation. For instance, if you are working on a project and feel stuck, you can ask yourself what-if questions to generate new ideas. What if I approached this project from a different perspective? What if I incorporated elements from other industries? By asking these questions, you are encouraging yourself to think outside the box and explore new possibilities. In conclusion, Cultivating a sense of possibility in your life is essential for personal growth and success. By asking what-if questions, you are challenging the status quo, overcoming limitations, and sparking creativity. So, the next time you find yourself facing a decision or feeling stuck, remember to ask yourself what-if and embrace the endless possibilities that await you. Lesson 5. Take responsibility for your own contribution to any situation. In life, we often find ourselves in various situations, both positive and negative. It is easy to blame others or external factors for the outcomes we experience. However, lesson number five teaches us the importance of taking responsibility for our own contribution to any situation. When you take responsibility for your own contribution, you acknowledge that you have a role to play in the outcome of a situation. This means recognizing that your actions, choices, and attitudes have an impact on the overall result. By doing so, you empower yourself to make positive changes and improve the situation. For example, imagine you are part of a team working on a project. The project is not progressing as planned, and tensions are rising among team members. Instead of blaming others for the lack of progress, you take responsibility for your own contribution. You reflect on your own actions and identify areas where you could have done better. 
Perhaps you realize that you haven't been communicating effectively or haven't been fully committed to the project. By acknowledging your own contribution, you can take steps to rectify the situation. You can improve your communication skills, increase your commitment, and work collaboratively with others to move the project forward. Taking responsibility for your own contribution also means being accountable for your mistakes. Rather than making excuses or shifting the blame onto others, you own up to your errors and learn from them. This allows you to grow and develop as an individual, as well as build trust and credibility with others. For instance, let's say you make a mistake at work that negatively impacts a client. Instead of trying to hide the mistake or blame someone else, you take responsibility for it. You apologize to the client, explain what went wrong, and outline the steps you will take to rectify the situation. By doing so, you demonstrate integrity and the willingness to learn from your mistakes, which can help rebuild trust with the client and strengthen your professional reputation. In summary, taking responsibility for your own contribution to any situation is a powerful mindset that allows you to recognize your role in the outcomes you experience. By acknowledging your actions, choices, and attitudes, you can make positive changes, learn from your mistakes, and ultimately improve the situation at hand. So, the next time you find yourself in a challenging situation, remember to take ownership of your contribution and embrace the opportunity for growth and improvement. Lesson 6. Let go of the need for control and embrace uncertainty. In life, we often have a strong desire to be in control of everything. We want to plan every detail, predict every outcome, and ensure that everything goes according to our expectations. However, this need for control can actually limit our potential and hinder our ability to embrace new possibilities. When you let go of the need for control, you open yourself up to the beauty of uncertainty. Instead of fearing the unknown, you can learn to embrace it and see it as an opportunity for growth and discovery. By accepting that you cannot control everything, you free yourself from the burden of trying to manipulate every situation to fit your desires. Embracing uncertainty allows you to be more open-minded and flexible. It enables you to adapt to unexpected circumstances and find creative solutions to challenges. When you are not fixated on controlling every aspect of your life, you become more receptive to new ideas and perspectives. For example, imagine you are planning a vacation. You have meticulously planned every detail, from the flights to the hotel reservations to the daily itinerary. However, on the day of your departure, you receive news that your flight has been cancelled due to bad weather. If you are someone who needs control, you might feel frustrated and stressed, unable to cope with the sudden change of plans. On the other hand, if you have embraced uncertainty, you would approach the situation with a different mindset. Instead of panicking, you would see this as an opportunity to explore alternative options. Perhaps you can take a different mode of transportation or find a new destination to visit. By letting go of the need for control, you are able to adapt and make the most out of the situation. In conclusion, letting go of the need for control and embracing uncertainty is a powerful lesson that can transform your life. It allows you to be more open, adaptable, and resilient in the face of unexpected circumstances. By embracing uncertainty, you open yourself up to new possibilities and experiences that you may have never imagined. So, let go of control and embrace the beauty of uncertainty. Lesson 7. Create frameworks for possibility by setting clear goals and boundaries. In order to open up new possibilities and achieve success, it is crucial to establish clear goals and boundaries. By doing so, you create a framework that allows you to explore different avenues and make progress towards your objectives. Setting clear goals provides you with a sense of direction and purpose. It helps you focus your energy and resources on what truly matters, enabling you to make meaningful progress. For example, if you want to start a business, setting a goal of increasing your customer base by a certain percentage within a specific time frame gives you a clear target to work towards. Boundaries, on the other hand, define the limits within which you operate. They establish the rules and guidelines that guide your actions and decisions. By setting boundaries, you create a structure that helps you stay on track and avoid distractions or unnecessary detours. For instance, 
If you are working on a project, setting boundaries around your time and resources ensures that you allocate them effectively and avoid spreading yourself too thin. Creating frameworks for possibility through clear goals and boundaries also fosters creativity and innovation. When you have a clear goal in mind, you are more likely to think outside the box and come up with innovative solutions to overcome challenges. Boundaries, in turn, provide a framework within which you can explore different possibilities and experiment with new ideas. They give you the freedom to take risks and push the boundaries of what is possible. Moreover, clear goals and boundaries also enhance collaboration and communication. When everyone involved shares a common understanding of the goals and boundaries, it becomes easier to work together towards a shared vision. It promotes alignment and coordination, ensuring that everyone is working towards the same objectives. For example, in a team project, setting clear goals and boundaries helps each team member understand their role and responsibilities, fostering a sense of unity and cooperation. In conclusion, Creating frameworks for possibility by setting clear goals and boundaries is essential for achieving success. It provides direction, structure, and focus, enabling you to explore new possibilities and make progress towards your objectives. By embracing this lesson, you can unlock your potential and open up a world of opportunities. Lesson 8. Foster a culture of collaboration and connection. In lesson number 8, you are encouraged to create an environment that promotes collaboration and connection. This means fostering a culture where people work together, support each other, and build strong relationships. Collaboration is about bringing people together to achieve a common goal. It involves sharing ideas, resources, and expertise to create something greater than what one person could accomplish alone. For example, in a workplace, you can encourage collaboration by organizing team projects where individuals with different skills and perspectives work together to solve a problem or complete a task. This allows everyone to contribute their unique strengths and learn from each other. Connection, on the other hand, is about building meaningful relationships with others. It involves truly listening to others, understanding their perspectives, and empathizing with their experiences. When you connect with someone, you create a sense of trust and openness, which leads to better communication and collaboration. For instance, in a team setting, you can foster connection by organizing team building activities or creating opportunities for individuals to share personal stories and experiences. This helps to break down barriers and build a sense of camaraderie among team members. By fostering a culture of collaboration and connection, you create an environment where people feel valued, supported, and motivated. This leads to increased productivity, creativity, and overall satisfaction. When individuals work together and feel connected to each other, they are more likely to go above and beyond to achieve shared goals. Additionally, collaboration and connection also promote a sense of belonging and fulfillment, which contributes to a positive work culture. In summary, Fostering a culture of collaboration and connection is about creating an environment where people work together, support each other, and build strong relationships. By encouraging collaboration and connection, you can harness the collective strengths and talents of individuals, leading to increased productivity and overall satisfaction. Lesson 9. Embrace mistakes and failures as opportunities for growth. In life, it is inevitable that we will make mistakes and experience failures. However, instead of viewing these moments as setbacks, it is important to embrace them as opportunities for growth. When you make a mistake or encounter a failure, it is a chance for you to learn and improve. Mistakes and failures provide valuable lessons that can help you develop new skills and gain a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. They allow you to identify areas where you can improve and make necessary adjustments. For example, if you make a mistake at work, you can reflect on what went wrong and find ways to prevent it from happening again in the future. This not only helps you grow professionally but also builds resilience and adaptability. Furthermore, mistakes and failures can lead to innovation and creativity. Some of the greatest inventions and discoveries in history have come from individuals who were not afraid to take risks and learn from their failures. For instance, Thomas Edison famously said, I have not failed. 
I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work when inventing the light bulb. His willingness to embrace failure ultimately led to his success. Moreover, mistakes and failures provide an opportunity for personal growth and self-reflection. They force you to confront your weaknesses and limitations, pushing you to step outside of your comfort zone and strive for improvement. By embracing these moments, you can develop a growth mindset and cultivate a sense of resilience and perseverance. In conclusion, mistakes and failures should not be seen as negative experiences, but rather as opportunities for growth. They provide valuable lessons, foster innovation, and promote personal development. So, the next time you make a mistake or encounter a failure, embrace it as a chance to learn, improve, and ultimately become a better version of yourself. Lesson 10. Celebrate and acknowledge the accomplishments of others. In lesson number 10, you are encouraged to celebrate and acknowledge the accomplishments of others. This concept emphasizes the importance of recognizing and appreciating the achievements of those around you. By doing so, you not only uplift and inspire others, but you also create a positive and supportive environment. Celebrating the accomplishments of others can take many forms. It can be as simple as offering a genuine compliment or expressing your admiration for their hard work. For example, if a colleague successfully completes a challenging project, you can acknowledge their efforts by congratulating them and highlighting specific aspects of their work that impressed you. Furthermore, celebrating the accomplishments of others involves actively seeking out opportunities to recognize their achievements. This can be done through public recognition, such as sharing their success story during a team meeting or through a company-wide email. By shining a spotlight on their accomplishments, you not only show your appreciation but also inspire others to strive for excellence. It is important to note that celebrating the accomplishments of others should come from a place of sincerity and genuine admiration. It is not about empty praise or flattery, but rather about recognizing the hard work, dedication, and talent that went into achieving a goal. By acknowledging the accomplishments of others, you foster a culture of support and collaboration, where everyone feels valued and motivated to continue striving for success. In conclusion, lesson number 10 teaches you the importance of celebrating and acknowledging the accomplishments of others. By doing so, you create a positive and supportive environment, inspire others, and foster a culture of appreciation and collaboration. So, Take the time to recognize and celebrate the achievements of those around you, and watch as it brings out the best in everyone. Thank you for watching Summary Secrets, your daily personal growth companion. If you found these lessons insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more condensed wisdom. Stay tuned daily for more.